It looks like Denver's brand new mayor, whether he likes it or not, has dipped his proverbial toe into Denver Public Schools controversy. At issue, the firing of a well-known principal of the city's largest middle school. That firing came after that principal talked to Nine News about a very specific safety concern. Today, the mayor, a longtime acquaintance of Kurt Dennis, told us he has concerns. Here's investigative reporter Chris Vanderveen. I'm mad, sad, frustrated, I'm a lot of things. I'm worried. The night the principal of McAuliffe told us the district had fired him. I knew there was a chance. In hours after we aired Kurt Dennis's story. It made me sad um, that, that, that this was the outcome, but uh, not surprising. Then mayor-elect Mike Johnston sent this text message to the person largely responsible for firing Dennis. Do you remember writing that? <laughs> Yes, I do remember writing that. Johnston's text to Denver Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Alex Marrero read in part, just saw the news about the Kurt Dennis decision. I'm really surprised you guys did that. I wanted to reach out directly because I was surprised by it and wanted to understand what had happened and why it had happened. His text added, I think that is going to be a terrible outcome for you and your team. Today, Mayor Johnston was a bit more guarded. Uh, I, I have concerns, and I, I've shared them with him. He knows it's obviously not my decision, not my purview. This all started back in March when then-Principal Dennis first told us he had big concerns about a de facto district policy that put students awaiting trial for serious charges back in schools like McAuliffe, forcing him and his staff to do daily weapons pat-downs with little to no training. He had tried to tell the district remote learning or an alternative school might be more appropriate, a feeling Mayor Johnston seemed to echo today. And I think it's fair to say that we know there are some kids that have, they're at serious risk for which comprehensive high schools or comprehensive middle schools might not be the right placement. I don't think that's a, a controversial idea. Important to note, DPS unveiled a new safety policy recently. It changes little about the policy that brought Dennis to Nine News in the first place. We've asked the superintendent for an interview for weeks. He has yet to commit to a time. Chris Vanderveen, 9 News. The district, for its part, insists that it did not fire Dennis for talking to 9 News, but rather fired him for discussing an individual student's case. Important to note, 9 News never aired that student's name. Dennis is expected to file a lawsuit against the district in federal court soon.